In this tutorial segment, the line command will be used to illustrate the different ways of issuing commands in AutoCAD. We will start by issuing a line command through the command line using the keyboard. First, type line and press enter. Notice that the command line has changed and I'm now being prompted for a point. This point will be the start of the line. One way of entering a coordinate point is by using the left mouse button on the drawing area. I will now left click on the drawing area. When I move the mouse, you can see a rubber band line extending from the initially selected point. Looking back to the command line, the prompt has changed, and I'm now being prompted for another point. So again, I'm going to select the point on the screen. I have now drawn a line segment. Notice that I'm still in the line command. I have a line rubber banding off of the most recently entered coordinate point, and again, I'm being prompted for another point. And I will select one more point. In the command line, there are a couple of options in brackets, close or undo. At this point, if you type U for undo and hit enter, you can see that I've backed up and undone the most recently created line segment. If I type U once more and press enter, I'm back to the first endpoint. Notice that I'm still in the middle of the line command. So I'll create a couple of line segments to demonstrate the close option. Now type C for close and press enter. A line segment is created from the last point to the first point, closing the shape. In this case, a four-sided polygon. In addition, the line command has been terminated. I'm back to the command prompt, which indicates that no commands are in effect at this time. I will now click on the undo button from the standard toolbar. Notice that the entire line command has been undone. Now, in addition to typing the entire command, I can also use what are called aliases. So rather than typing the entire command, line, L-I-N-E, the alias for line is L. So, if I type L, and press enter, you can see that I have initiated the line command. I will now create a line by selecting two points. You can terminate the command at any point by pressing enter. Do so now. The line command is now ended and I'll click undo to get rid of the line. We will now use the pull down menus to issue the line command. You can see that the line command is located in the draw pull down menu. This time rather than randomly selecting points on the screen, we'll use precision input and enter coordinates with the keyboard. I'll select the line at 50, 50. 50 units in the X direction and 50 in the Y. Hit enter and by moving the mouse you can see the point has been selected. I'll end the line segment at 300, 200 type this in, hit enter, and enter again to terminate the command. I will now undo the line command, and we'll take a look at issuing commands using the toolbars. So in this case, we're going to go over to the draw toolbar, locate the line icon, which happens to be on top, and left click it. Just as before, AutoCAD is prompting for points in the command line. I will now create a couple of line segments and close it by typing C and pressing enter. This completes the tutorial segment on issuing commands. We've looked at issuing commands from the command line either by typing in the command name or using an alias. We've also looked at using the pull down menus and toolbars in order to issue commands using the line command as an example.